Houston, this is the International Space Station. We're ready for the event. Copy that. We're also ready to so uh, over to you. Well, welcome aboard to the International Space Station and the crew of Expedition 63. It's an exciting day for us all as uh, we bid farewell to our two friends and colleagues, Bob and Doug, as they complete the, uh, the journey of this amazing test test mission. It was roughly two months ago when we were right at this very hatch and, and greeted them aboard. And uh, and we, we changed from a crew of three to a crew of five. And we executed two months of fantastic space station science and technical objectives with spacewalks and robotics that we're very proud of. And uh, we're very happy to have Doug, Doug and Bob be, be part of that. It's uh, It's, we're a little sad to see them go, but very excited for what it means to uh, our international space program to add this capability to bring people back uh, and forth to the space station in low Earth orbit um, with another capability such as the Crew Dragon. Before I hand the mic over uh, to Bob and Doug, I, I do want to make mention of this uh, very special flag. It has deep, deep uh, space history getting deeper as this flag will return to Earth with the, the crew, crew Dragon guys and uh, spend a little bit of time on Earth and very soon make a trip uh, to the moon um, in short order. So, uh, Doug, the flag's all yours. It's been a pleasure, and here you go. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for this. Uh, yeah, this flag has spent some time up here uh, on the order of nine years uh, since we dropped it off on STS-135 after it flew on STS-1. So very proud to return this uh, flag home and uh, see what's next for it uh, on its journey to the moon. Uh, it's hard to put into words uh, just what it was like to be a part of this expedition, Expedition 63. It'll be uh, kind of a memory that will last a lifetime for me. Just all the incredible teamwork and accomplishments uh, with the highlights, uh, obviously being the, the four spacewalks that we uh, worked together, literally as a crew of five, to, to have success and to complete that part of the upgrade for the International Space Station, which leaves it in a great posture for the future. Um, the other thing to think about for us is uh, our mission isn't over. The DM-2 test flight is, uh, in some ways, just two-thirds complete. We did the uh, ascent, the rendezvous, and the docking. We completed our docked objectives, and now is the entry, descent, and uh, splashdown phase um, after we undock, hopefully a little bit later today. Uh, so we're going to be really focused on completing those objectives. The teams are working really hard, uh, especially uh, with the dynamics of the weather uh, over the next few days uh, around Florida. And we appreciate those efforts because I know those, those decisions and that work isn't easy. And of course, uh, for the men and women of the Commercial Crew Program and uh, SpaceX, all the work they've done to get us to this point where we're on our way to completing this uh, test flight. It, it's been a true honor. 
As Doug mentioned, we're uh, part of a test mission that to be began two months ago with the uh, initial success of launching from American soil, bringing launches of astronauts back to the Florida coast. Uh, I'm extremely proud to have been a part of that. We've accomplished the, the next third of the mission, which was our time on orbit and checking out Dragon while it was docked to ensure that it would be ready for the next launch of the Crew-1 uh, astronauts as they head to space station for an even longer stay. Now, as Doug mentioned, we're about to embark on the, the final portion of the journey. I've referred to our, some of our, our SpaceX friends as the, the hardest part was getting us launched, but the most important part is, is bringing us home. And so uh, I look forward to the test objectives of not only separating from the International Space Station smoothly, but then coming down to a, a nice splashdown off the Florida coast to come full circle with bringing that capability to launch astronauts again to the United States. Uh, as I look back on the, the mission that we've had here on the International Space Station, I'm proud to have been a part of much of the science activities that happened over the last two months. As uh, Doug and Chris mentioned, the, uh, the spacewalks and robotics activity, uh, Chris and I were able to join the uh, 10 Spacewalk Club, which is a, a pretty neat thing that you know, just a, a few short uh, months ago, I didn't think I would do another spacewalk and uh, to now have the chance to have done uh, four more with uh, Commander Cassidy was just uh, icing on the cake for a, a, a wonderful mission. And as I look forward to uh, uh, heading back home for the splashdown, I do uh, uh, think that from a family perspective, uh, my son and Doug's son uh, are really excited not only to get their fathers back, but to get our Apatosaurus, our zero-G indicator that they nominated to go with us on this historic mission to the International Space Station and bringing that to launch and uh, return capability back to the U.S. And so for Jack and Theo, uh, Tremor the Apatosaurus is uh, headed home soon, and uh, he'll be with uh, your dads. Uh, you'll have to pick which one of us is, uh, is your favorite. Speaking of uh, historic moments, uh, we were reminded fairly recently that uh, we're about at the 45th anniversary of the Apollo-Soyuz uh, test project, and uh, which of course uh, was also the last time a, a U.S. spacecraft uh, splashed down rather than landed uh, on land. And it's, it's kind of neat to have that uh, mission that exemplified the teamwork between uh, Russia and the United States, of course, back then the Soviet Union and the United States, but uh, now Russia, and, and to be able to share this expedition with uh, Anatoly and Ivan, uh, the tremendous amount of teamwork that uh, they have put forth uh, over the mission has just been exceptional, and we, we can't thank them enough for their contribution to the success of uh, Expedition 63 and the DM2 mesh, uh, test mission. So, Ivan and Anatoly, thank you. Uh, it's been a real pleasure uh, to share the station with the Endeavour crew, Bob and Doug. Thank you very much for being part of Expedition 63. Two months have passed uh, very quickly, and today with the weather being favorable, it's time to close the hatches. As you relatively short but a very eventful mission is coming to its end. We have no doubt that your return to our planet will be as successful as your launch was. And we wish you a safe flight home, gentlemen. I'm glad that the Endeavour crew has been with us to, for two months. It has been great and interesting time. And uh, I wish you guys a successful return to the Earth. And uh, uh, just uh, say hello to the Earthlings for us. Well, that concludes our, our ceremony. Thank you very much for, for joining us on board uh, uh, the International Space Station. We have uh, a few more activities to do in the, in the day. These guys are about, uh, what would be, 10 hours or so from, from closing the hatch. Uh, between now and then, we've got a little bit of downtime to rest, and then kind of after dinner, uh, we hit the ground running with uh, all the pre-hatch pre closing activities and the actual undocking itself. So please stay tuned and, and join us for that. Uh, until then, 
Thank you, and all the best well, uh, from the expedition crew, sec 63. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes our event as we count down to 20 continuous years of humans living and working on the International Space Station. Thank you all. Station, we're now resuming operational audio communications.